expedition. The dream of a lifetime is coming true. Here I am with a fully prepared team. Our goal, to explore the hidden site of the glacial Arctic Ocean. We load up in an hour at 4 p.m., and that's it. Don't forget anything. Then we're on our way. 176, that's a lot. I'm Guilin, the one who started this crazy project. I can take a little. That's Manu, the only woman on the team. That's Alban, with the red cross on his cap, always cheerful. As for Sam, he's sort of our genius handyman. The other four, Clément, Benoît, Pascal and Vincent, are all experts. Mountain climber, photographer, emergency medic, cameraman, and last of all, Kayak, our bear detector. You can't tell who's who because we're all dressed the same. For Manu and me, this flight towards the pole is the accomplishment of two years' work. In this no man's land, the pilots eventually find a safe landing site. Then we are dropped off on the frozen ocean at 40 nautical miles, roughly 70 kilometers from the geographic North Pole. Valentine is our logistics expert. She's heading for Resolute Bay to take charge of base camp. She'll be in touch with us daily through the satellite phones. The DC-3 leaving without us, how I've dreamt of this. Not one familiar mark to guide us. Ahead of us, due south, 800 kilometers of ice field to cross before reaching land. Our main objective, to do about 50 dives between the pole and the Canadian coast. What I suggest is that we take it easy, don't rush, take all the time you need to get ready. We have to be careful and watch out for frostbite. Rule number one, as soon as some part of your body feels extremely cold, you say so. Hands, eyebrows, cheeks, whatever. So do whatever's left to be done, and when we're all ready, we start off. Okay, Kayak, let's go. He traveled with us all the way from France. Taking our young husky along was no easy matter. This apparently motionless ocean is an immense ice field that drifts according to winds and sea currents. The first kilometer confirms that all the training in the world will never give you the feel of the real terrain. From now on, the sun will stop setting. My hands feel terribly cold, and I know this isn't always going to be easy. But it's my responsibility to bring everyone back safe and sound. It's cold. I feel something. Yeah. But you still have to 